Hello, my name is Anubhav Swami and in this video I will show you quick demo of next generation firewall in Amazon Web Services. Before I talk about this demo, let me quickly go ahead and talk a little bit about our marketplace offerings. We have next generation firewall available in marketplace. We also have management suite which is known as uh, Firepower Management Center. Um, in Amazon Web Services Marketplace and on licensing side we have BYOL where you'll purchase licenses directly from Cisco. In addition to this we also have uh, hourly and annual licenses available wherein you'll be built directly from Amazon for licenses as well. On deployment side we have routed mode available you can place this firewall at the edge for any traffic coming from internet remote access vpn users you can use it for site to site vpn tunnel going towards your data center or going towards any other vpc in amazon web services uh, you can also place this firewall within your vpc to protect inter-subnet traffic as well. In addition to this, we have uh, passive mode available where your device will act as an IDS. Uh, you will just uh, deploy CSR and create ER span of the traffic, forward the traffic to NGFW for further inspection. Uh, for this demo, I would be using CloudFormation template. So first CloudFormation template would, would deploy a uh, base network. Uh, when I say base network, it will deploy virtual private cloud uh, to availability zone. And each availability zone would have uh, uh, three subnets, uh, inside, outside, and management. Um, in addition to this, it will also deploy internet gateway and route table. Second template that I would be using will show you our scale out solution uh, where we would be leveraging network load balancer of Amazon Web Services. And this network load balancer will forward uh, traffic to firewall for further inspection. And on the health probe side, we would be probing application servers through the firewall. If there's a failure of the probe, uh, that firewall is removed out of the cluster. So um, in this example, you can add multiple firewalls behind load balancer within one availability zone. But for this demo, I would be using one firewall in each availability zone. In addition to this, uh, it is really important to show you um, how can we connect two virtual private clouds using IPsec VPN tunnel. So I will I would be showcasing site-to-site uh, -site VPN tunnel between two VPCs as well. I'll quickly go ahead and log into Amazon console and show you these demos. Now I will use CloudFormation template to deploy base infrastructure and firewalls behind NLP. Uh, I'm using first template to deploy base infrastructure which includes virtual private cloud subnets, firepower management center, route table, and subnets as well as my web servers. Uh, deployment of template one is complete. Uh, I will now use uh, template two which will deploy two firewalls behind network load balancer and network load balancer will forward traffic to firewalls and firewalls will apply security policies and forward it to the application servers. This way you can achieve active active traffic forwarding by adding multiple firewalls behind load balancer. Uh, I will go ahead and uh, log into my firepower management center and firewalls and show you traffic flow. So I'm now in uh, Firepower Management Center and after deployment of devices, I have initialized uh, both firewalls. I have assigned IPs, created access control policy to allow port 80, also created NAT statement for both firewalls so that probe from load balancer can go through the firewall. So this is the required NAT statement which I have created. Uh, apart from that, if you look at uh, access control policy, I have allowed port 80 as well. So um, uh, so that traffic can flow through this uh, firewall and I have applied same policy uh, to both firewalls. Now let, let's go back to AWS Management Console and let's go to EC2 instances to check um, all the instances deployed by template one and template two. So these are the instances which were deployed as part of template one and template two. Uh, apart from that, NLB was also deployed. If you look at this NLB, NLB02, there is a DNS name. I will go ahead and copy this name and I will use this name to access my servers. I'll also go to target group to view what configuration is there. Uh, and once I'll go inside target, I will see both firewalls. 201.5 is um, 
firewall 2 200 dot 5 is firewall 1 now I will go ahead and access this DNS using my browser in first browser I uh, was able to access uh, web server 2 and in browser 2 I was able to access web server 1 this shows that traffic is getting um, uh, forwarded through NLP and getting uh, distributed now I'll go ahead and check uh, events as well just to show that traffic is uh, passing through the firewall these are the port 80 um, uh, request coming through the firewall so um, by doing this we can see that traffic is getting distributed by load balancer let's move back to our third part of uh, demo where we have uh, VPN tunnel between two VPCs uh, as part of uh, cloud formation template 2 I deployed bot 2 dash VPC and where I have uh, Pot to Linux machine, I uh, have firewall, and on the other side, I have created vendor VPC. I deployed one next generation firewall there as well, and a Linux machine there also. So um, now I will show you um, how we can secure connection between two VPCs using IPsec VPN tunnel. Uh, I'm back in uh, AWS console. I'll take you to virtual private cloud first. In virtual private cloud, I will show you uh, pod 2 VPC and vendor VPC. So I have two VPCs there. I will show you route table as well. Uh, route table uh, vendor dash RT. Um, if we look at this route table, we have um, route for far side subnet pointing to inside interface of the firewall similarly on pod 2 route table i have similar kind of route as well now let's go to um, ec2 instances so that i can show you all the instances that i have there uh, let's go to instances and search for uh, pod 2 this is my firewall which is there in pod 2 vpc i have uh, FMC as well managing this next generation firewall and I also have Linux box there IP address on this Linux box is 10.0.100.200 now let's go back and I'll show you uh, FMC that I have used uh, for um, next generation firewall located in vendor VPC I also have Linux box there um, this is my um, firepower management center, which is located in pod 2. I'll show you um, VPN configuration here. If you look at this VPN line, I have created side-to-side -side tunnel between uh, next generation firewall located in uh, pod 2 uh, and uh, uh, next generation firewall located in vendor VPC. So this is my VPN setup. I have used Ike V1. Uh, we can use Ike V2 as well, but for this demo purpose, I have used Ike V1. Um, first firewall that you see there is uh, located in pod two. Then I have pod uh, vendor uh, next generation firewall as well. Um, this system that you see here is a Linux box, which is uh, 192.168.100.100 located in vendor. VPC from here I have initiated ping for a Linux box located in pod 2 VPC now I will show you phase 1 uh, so um, phase 1 is mm active which means phase 1 of uh, IPsec VPN is up I'll show you same thing on um, the other firewall as well I will show you show IPsec uh, SA uh, to give you more information about phase 2 you can see in caps and decaps on that firewall. Now I will also show you same thing on other firewall. Here you can also see that we have in caps and decaps uh, on the device. So any communication that is happening between um, part two of VPC and vendor VPC is getting uh, is getting um, encrypted uh, via IPsec VPN tunnel. So um, as a part of this uh, demo, I 
tried three things. In first template, I deployed infrastructure. In second template, I uh, deployed uh, next generation firewall with fire power management center. And then I manually went ahead and deployed vendor VPC and created um, uh, created VPN um, uh, IP, IPsec tunnel between uh, two VPCs to show you how we can secure communication between the two VPCs. Uh, that's it for this demo. I hope you enjoyed this demo and thank you for watching.